Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, the sun is coming up over here on what is going to be a beautiful day out here in Sandusky, Ohio. I am competing in a kayak catfishing tournament today on Sandusky Bay. And when I do these tournaments, I like to bring y'all with me. I'll show you the good, the bad, and unfortunately the ugly, if there is any. Hopefully we won't have any of that today, but with this tournament, it's got 33 people signed up. Gonna be a big payday for whoever wins. Close to $5,000 going to the winner. Big fish prize is $1,200. Paying out six total spots. So uh, I'm gonna try to get there in the upper level, see if I can get me some of that cash today, y'all. But where I have launched at here, I am between the bridges. Our tournament check-in is at the Clemens boat ramp. And so I put in right here. Didn't have a particularly good practice up here on the, the times I fished this week. I got three sessions in. My best fish come right out here between these bridges. So I said, you know what, I'm coming back out here and we're gonna focus on that today. So my plan is to drag. I'm gonna troll, cover water, drag a couple baits. I am gonna suspend one here in Ohio. You can have three rods per person. So I'm gonna make the most of uh, the maximum amount of rods that we can have in the water and just go out here and have some fun y'all like i said it was a lousy practice for me so i'm just going fishing today we're just going to just get out here put some baits in the water and see what happens so tournament time runs from 7 a.m to 3 p.m got a few more minutes here to get where i'm going before lines in and then it's going to score our five longest catfish now here in sandusky bay it's channel cats this is channel cat heaven or hell depending on your how well you like the channel cat so it's probably going to be all channels on my score there are some flatheads in here and somebody may look up and catch one but they don't get caught very often it doesn't seem like and there are no blue cats in here so most everybody's score is going to be channel cats today so anyway y'all got a beautiful sunrise we got a train going across very pretty country up here let's go see if we can catch some channel cats today and cash a nice check so y'all here is the bait selection i've got chicken and i've got shrimp but i know if you thought you would never see the day that i would be fishing with this stuff let alone using it in a tournament i'm with you i feel like hail is a little bit chilly right now about to freeze over but not only did i struggle to get anything going up here in my practice days, I struggled to get bait too. So we go grocery store baits today. Fortunately, I have caught fish here on the chicken and shrimp and shrimp seems to be what all of the fishing guides up here use. So these channel cats aren't too particular about what to eat, but I would have liked to have had some fresh fish for the bigger quality channels, but man, hey, chicken, we're going with it. So like I said, I think there in the intro, I'm gonna drag two baits. I may have not have said it in the intro. Hell, I don't even know what I've said at this point, but my plan is I'm gonna drag two baits and suspend one off the front of the kayak and just cover water out here today. Try to just put my baits in front of as many fish as possible. And again, I just gotta get lucky today, y'all. Somebody's gonna win this thing. Might as well be me, right? So y'all, this is the first fish I hooked into. It was about an hour and a half into the tournament when I got this first bite. Unfortunately, when I got home to edit this video, realized I didn't have any audio in this clip. So I'm having to do a little voice over here, but nevertheless, I was dragging a piece of chicken when this rod took off off and once I got it up in the kayak and got it on the board it measured out at 26 and a half inches so got myself on the scoreboard at least got to skunk out oh that's a fish right there I thought I was snagged for a minute but that's a fish I just come across something let me spot lock right here a second I come across I'll show you here on my graph in a second I don't know what it is down there but the bottom's real rough now, I saw some fish on it, didn't know what they were. I've hooked into one of them here. That's a cat. I think this one's a little bit smaller than the last one. We'll let him tire himself out here a minute, and we'll get hold of him and get him on our board. Meanwhile, I'm just going to spot lock. My other bait back there will just be sitting there on whatever that is down there. i tell you what, that fish is hooked good right there. I'm going to leave him set in a minute, and I'll show you here on my graph. This is the live scope here is a glare. I don't know if you can tell or not. Let me push that. All this, there's something down there. You can see it up off bottom. There's some fish around it. I, when I come across, I saw some bigger marks. Who knows if they're cats or carp or drum or whatever. But whatever, uh, whatever that is down there, 
I pulled across it and got that fish. So there's at least one cat on it, but I've just continued making my way up through here, y'all. When I got out here this morning, my plan was to kind of troll between the two bridges, but the current was going this way and my best day of practice, I got my better quality fish trolling into the current. So I just made my way down. I end up coming through the railroad bridge here and I've just continued to kind of follow this channel, which I'll show you here on the map. There's the bridge and I've just kind of followed this cut up through here. So right now, 11 feet deep. But uh, anyway, we got us another one. Fish number two about to be on the board here. Let's get him in and get him, get him submitted. Y'all, I got another fish on here. My line was slack and I was like, I was like, is the current just changing on me? Or is that a fish? And I picked up and by gosh, it's a fish. I got the other one sitting in the floor. This one here is about the same size. I can't tell if he's hooked good or not. Let's go ahead and land him. Well, that's, that's two fish here on whatever, whatever that is down there. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this one in. Whatever that rough mess is that I just went over, there's, there's at least two fish on it that are catfish. So y'all, I've put another piece of chicken on here and I'm just gonna cast that dragon rig out there behind me and put it in the rod holder as I get this other fish measured just to get some more bait in the water down there. Let's get rid of that one there, y'all. He wouldn't calm down for nothing. That was 22 and three quarter inches. Not very big, but I'm gonna go ahead and get him submitted and we'll get the other one on the board. Oh, y'all, about to measure my other fish. That one's going down. That one's going down. I threw both these rods back out while I was getting these fish ready to get measured and all that. Whatever, whatever this rough patch here that I went across, it's got some fish on. Now, are there any with any size? I don't know, but they some here. This is more action than I've seen. I went an hour and a half before I got my first fish this morning. This one's a little better. A little better than the other two anyway. This one here's probably the biggest one of the morning so far. I'll take it, man. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm watching that leaderboard because our leaderboard in these kayak, kayak catfishing tournaments, it's live. As we submit fish to the board, it's updating. And so, you know, when you, when you go an hour and a half after the tournament starts, you ain't got a bite and you're watching all these other guys catch fish and, and get on the board. It's frustrating, man. So now I'm finally making up some ground on some of these guys. Yep, oh, oh, that gone channel cat. Quit that now. Come in here. This and here's another one that's going to have to calm down three notches before I put him on the board. I'm going to just, I'm going to just get this bait back out. He left my chicken on. I'm just going to cast it back out over there while I fool with these other fish here. We own some right here though, y'all. It's a, we're on a productive spot. I've stumbled into something. Oh, did this rod just get hit now? I think he see this. He's swimming with it, man. Oh man, I am on some fish. <laughs> I'll tell you what I got to do. I got this, the first so the second fish I caught here is still on the floor of the kayak. I hate doing that to fish. I'm gonna, we'll make sure this one's hooked good. I'll get that second one that I caught on the board, get the pictures done, get him going, get the other one going, and then we'll cast this bait back out. But I'm on some fish. I've stumbled into a pile of them, y'all. Hey, that's a, that's a smaller one there. I ain't, I ain't worried about him. Let's set him down there and get these others done. Y'all, that one there, 23 and a half. Let's get him going, and now let's reel in the one on this other rod I just cast out over here. I'm, I'm hooked up on it again. So I'm at my drag, my drag seems like. Oh man, I'm on some fish. This tournament started out not good for me, but boy, business picked up quick. I'm on a pile of them, man. I'm just gonna go ahead, get my five fish submitted on the board, then we're gonna worry about culling. Oh, that one popped off, it! That one popped off right here, but my bait's still on. Let me fix it back. We'll just cast it back out and I'll work on getting this third fish that's in the floor of the kayak. We'll work on getting him submitted for the tournament. 
I'm just casting my my dragging setups. I'm just tra casting them out like anchor setups right now. I'm spot locked while I sort this mess, and I'm gonna stay spot locked here till I quit catching them too. Oh man, I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up before I can even get back to working on this other fish. <laughs> what a good problem to have. All right, man, let's get this one up here. I think this one's gonna be small. Probably like that other one on the other side of the kayak. Yeah, let's leave him sitting. I gotta get this other fish in the floor here done. This one actually will help our score right here. Y'all, that one there, he'll go about 30 inches. He is an ornery devil too. These damn channel cats, man, they don't wanna cooperate and lay on a board for nothing. How about that though, man? What a series of events. I'm going along, confidence zero, and all of a sudden, boom, every single rod's going down, and if I'll quit flapping my gums, land this other fish here, and that one on that side, we'll get some baits back out, and maybe we'll keep sorting through these smalls and get some more 30 plus inch fish like that last one there. Bring that one in. I'm gonna unhook him, get another bait on while he tires himself out. This is chaos right here, y'all. <laughs> here goes this bait, y'all. I'm just going to toss it out behind me here. Give myself a backlash in the process. You know what's surprising throughout all this chaos? Is my dang shrimp on my suspended bait ain't been touched up there. Shrimp is supposed to be like the go-to bait for all these fishing guides up here and everything. And so far, everything's hitting a chicken for me. Y'all, I hope my camera keeps running long enough to give you an update. It's not hot out here today. It's in the 70s, but it's bright, it's sunny, and GoPro hates it. I overheated, but in the meantime, I've just been reeling in one fish after another after another. I reel them in, put them in the kayak, unhook them, cast a the bait back out. Before I can get pictures or anything, the next fish has been hooking up. I've got currently got three in the floor of my kayak. This one here, man, this one's a big one. I get him on the board, he's gonna be my biggest, hopefully, Hopefully this dang camera will stay running long enough to, to show you all this crap. Man, it's battling cameras and fish is an ordeal, but hey, this is actually pretty fun catching these channel cats when the action is as good as it is. Y'all, I just got a picture of my big one on the board. He's 31 inches. I also got a fish on that rod right there in the meantime. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my big one go here. No, oh, he's gonna let himself go apparently. This thing, man, he ain't much longer than that 30 incher I got, but, but weight wise, let me get a front camera pick of this one. Let's hold this thing up there if I can, man. That's a, that's a chunky channel cat right there, buddy. Only an inch bigger than my other big one there, but weight wise, significantly heavier. That's a, what I call fun size catfish right there. Let's get him out of here. I'm gonna start reeling in this other one here on the left. Like I said, man, it is just, it is action, man. Before I can get fish measured, I got another one on everything but the shrimp. I think this, no, he's on here still. I thought he might've come off. He'd just come back at me. I threw my shrimp that was suspended. I cast it off the back of the kayak. I can't get it eat, but they're all over this chicken. And there is a million fish here too, man. This is another one here that's going to upgrade my score. I don't even know what the smallest fish on my score is at this point. I've caught so many fish. I just keep taking pictures of all of them and submitting them. Got a picture of this one for the leaderboard. That one there, 29 inches. Another nice one, man. Get one out of here, fish. Next fish, 28 inches. I'm moving on up that leaderboard, y'all. There he goes. All right, y'all, I think I'm finally caught up. I've got every fish pictured and submitted to the leaderboard. 26 and a half inches is now my smallest fish on, the, on my score that I need to cull. I think while all of that chaos was going on, I think the current has switched on me. I was trolling into the current originally coming from out from this direction from the bridge. And since I've been sitting here, you can see my, I've spot locked while I was catching all them fish and now I'm facing back toward the bridge. There's no wind out here right now. So I assume that the current has changed. It's a like a tidal flow almost up here 
with the current. It seems to go in for a while, then it goes out. And I think maybe we went through the chain. I don't know. How, I don't even looked at the clock lately. I don't know what time it is. I was just literally reeling a fish, rebait, cast out before I can get pictures. It was a mess, but it was awesome. So uh, I have moved up the leaderboard. Who knows if I'll sit there. Everybody is going to catch fish today. This is, you know, Sandusky Bay. One of the things it's known for is being loaded with fish. So it's going to be first place to 15th place is going to be separated by a few inches. I just know I need some more 30 plus inch fish if I'm going to be at the top at the end of the day. And I'm off to a good start here now. It started slow, but by gosh, we're making some progress. So here is a leaderboard update as of 10:17 a.m. Look who's sitting at the top right now, y'all. Daniel from Catfish Sumo. He's up here fishing with me. He's had a heck of a morning. He's in first place, 150 and three quarter inches. I'm currently in fifth place with 144 and a half. I'm gonna have to make a change, y'all. Uh, my bite died. I mean, it was just nonstop action. But while that was going on the current changed and since it has my bite's done i don't know if the fish moved if they've shut down maybe i just sore lipped all the fish that was kind of in this area i don't know but either way me just kind of sitting here hanging out like i was doing while it was just non-stop bites that's been dead i haven't i haven't had a tap or anything in 15 20 minutes now so i'm going to get back on the move see if i can either find where that school of fish went or find me a new one because Hey, I can't let Daniel finish this tournament ahead of me. You all know how much smack I talk to him. I'll never hear the end of it if he beats me in this thing. So we got to get on with some more fish, y'all. Well, just like that, I was talking about moving and I go to reel in. I got one on. There's still some fish in this area. I just don't know what to do. And all that ain't going to help us right there. That's the smallest one of the day. That's a that's the size of fish I would normally say Daniel catches. He's all wrapped up in this line too. But Daniel's whooping my hind end right now. That right there is the size of channel cats I catch back home. That's why I hate them so daggone bad. Them's the bait stealers right there, but that one didn't steal my bait. He got my line wrapped up every which way from Sunday, but he didn't get the bait. We'll rehook that thing and, and I'm gonna get on the move, get see if I can find me a new school fish. Oh boy, look at that one now. Look at that one pulling. I was just getting turned. I'm trying to anyway. I was gonna go back the other direction. I wasn't getting any action going back toward the bridge here. I'm trying to locate that school I was on. I went to get myself turned and this one took off, man. Hopefully he's bigger than 26 and a half inches. That's what we need to call at this point. We'll throw him on the board and find out. It's gonna be close either way. He's mad at it though. <laughs> These dang things, they like the, the baney roosters. They ain't very big compared to blues and flatheads, but they like to puff their chest out and act like they're act like they're tough guys. And they sure don't like laying on a measuring board. I'll tell you that firsthand. They every one of them's been a battle today to get a picture of. Now that there ain't gonna do nothing for us, y'all. Get on out here, fish. What'd he do with my tournament identifier? Did he just knock that thing off? There it is. It's under the board. That fish tried to sabotage me knocking my tournament identifier overboard. <laughs> These pictures for the, the tournaments where we submit them, we get a unique identifier that's handed out at our captain's meeting. We have to have a date, time, and GPS stamp, and we have to have that picture on an approved measuring board. And they do a board check at our captain's meeting there when they give out our identifiers. Thankfully, they give us extra identifiers if that kind of thing happens. But that fish though, he tried. You know how these channel cats are. I'll show you my rig here that I'm using now that I kind of at a moment where I can do it. I'm just putting a piece of chicken on there. That's on a 10 aught size circle hook. I've got that on a dropper rig, basically a Kentucky rig. But instead of a, a lead at the bottom, I've got my dragon sinkers. You can learn how to make these. They're very easy to make, very cheap and simple to do. I've got a link down in my video description for those. Let's give that a toss back there. I'm not, I'm not running them very far behind me. And we'll let that out there and just moving along when I'm dragging, I'm trying to keep my speed like 0.3 to 0.5 miles an hour. I've also got a suspended bait up here with my stinger fly rig and uh, another piece of chicken on there. I was rocking the shrimp on that first thing, but the shrimp 
I know everybody up here swears by it, but my better fish, even my practice days and out here today, coming on the chicken. So we're gonna go with the chicken. I wish I had some kind of fish to use, but I just struggled up here. You know, I come up early to kind of get a feel for things on this body of water, find me some bait. And I had one decent day of, of cat fishing, you know, catching channel cats. And that was it. Otherwise I caught fish. I caught fish every day, but they were just tiny channel cats. So I'm like, man, I can't, you know, I can't post a video of these little 14, 15 inch channel cats, you know, but uh, end up getting one decent video, I guess. And uh, spent a lot of time trying to get bait and just couldn't do it. Tried net and shad, didn't get any. Through the ultralight, trying to get bluegill, didn't get any. How do you not catch bluegill? I don't know, but I found a way. I was told that I would catch a bunch of drum, just catfishing up here, just bycatches. Haven't caught a single one. So <laughs> it's like, I guess I'm coming out here in a tournament fishing with chicken, but hey, it's working. You know, I'm up there near the top of the leaderboard, so can't complain at this point. Got some action on this rod here. Let's reel another one in, y'all. The bite's definitely slowed. I've continued kind of making my way away from this bridge trying to see if i could run into them fish again i don't know where they went i i'm not i'm seeing stuff on the live scope but it's smaller marks you know it's not not like i was getting there earlier this is just another small here he ain't gonna do nothing for us we're gonna get him out of here thankfully he left the bait on nice of him nice of him to do that oh here we go here we go. That's a nice takedown. Let's see what this one will do for us, if anything. He's gonna come right at us, what he's gonna do. <laughs> I've continued making my way away from the bridge, seeing if I can run into some more fish here. This one here might be a little bit of an upgrade for us. We'll see. Every inch matters in this tournament. It's gonna to be so congested up there, really all the way down through the leaderboard. A difference of an inch or two on your score could mean the difference in cashing a check or not. Just to be efficient, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and cast out that bait before I try measuring that fish. It takes so long to get these dang channel cats pictured on that measuring board. I want to make sure I got baits in the water and keep moving as we go. No, y'all, that one's about 26 and a half. He won't touch that three quarter inch line, so he's not going to help us, unfortunately. Get out of here, fish. It's nice to get a bite again anyway. Bite slowed down, y'all. I'm off in fish. I don't know where they went. We might get one on a suspended rod here. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. First one suspended today. He's gonna pull a little bit, but I'm only 12 feet deep, so that's a short line. <laughs> it don't take a big fish to rip some drag when you got 12 foot of line out. Everything has come dragging, or when I was just spot locked and had all that mess going on, just casting out and sitting on bottom. Nothing had even touched a suspended bait before this one. But we're allowed three rods here in Ohio, so I'm dragging two behind me and makes it simpler to keep things from getting tangled up just to have one going off the front here in the kayak. So just leaving it out and well, we got an extra fish from it. Hopefully he's over 26 and a half inches and upgrade our score. Yeah. Oh, y'all, this one ate the fly. This one ate my stinger fly right here. Check this out, y'all. My bait on the hook up there, it's gone. He's got the fly, man. Stinger fly strikes again, buddy. This one here won't open his mouth, so I brought a net with me today because I know how uncooperative these dang channel cats are. That one there is definitely an upgrade on our score right there. We'll get him on the board, but man, y'all, stinger fly. I love me these stinger flies. 
and they have struck again Get that thing I want that fly back there fish give me that back this is a uh, I think this is the goldfish color fly right there that catfish sumo sells I got a link down in the video description for them but man glad I had that thing on that suspended rod has done diddly poo but I've left it out and now we got an upgrade Y'all, that fish there, 29 and a half inches. So he'll be a three inch upgrade on my score. Another quality channel cat right there, if such a thing exists. Now our next smallest fish that we need to cull is a 28 incher. So that right there, that's a nice upgrade. We just keep plugging along like that. We've got a few hours left. If we can just keep periodically upgrading, we're liable to be in good shape. Here goes this one. Here goes this one. Let's reel this one in now. That's another one on the dragon rig right here. Got chicken all three rods. That's what I'm rolling with the rest of the day. Unless I just completely quit getting bit on it, I ain't going back to the shrimp because it just ain't done nothing. Right now I'm 10 feet of water. I've turned and now I'm going back toward the railroad bridge here. I just kept making my way along. I just wasn't getting bit. I got that one on the fly up there, but it just wasn't, wasn't getting any action. I don't know where that school of fish I was on. I don't know where they went. With the sun being so high in the sky right now, I'm wondering if they didn't retreat a little bit down to deeper water. And the deeper water is going to be on the other side of the, of the railroad bridge here. It'll drop down to like 22 feet over there on the other side. So... That's where I'm headed toward now, y'all. I'm gonna make my way toward that deeper water unless I just run into some more fish and get back on that school. No, that one's 26 something there. Get out of here, channel cat. I had to use a net on that too. He wouldn't, wouldn't cooperate, wouldn't open his mouth. I don't normally like a net for catfishing because it gets in the way. I always hung on something, you know, I'd just rather grab them, but these channel cats are so uncooperative. It's helpful to have a net on some of them. I think our bait here still looks to be in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna run that hook through again and we'll uh, we'll toss it back out there. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what this one is. Feels pretty good. Oh, he's gonna run now, ain't he? I'm down here by the railroad bridge, y'all. I see a bunch of fish stacked up here, so I just spot locked drop baits down on them. I've been sitting here about three minutes. Yeah, he ain't gonna help me. Look at all them fish there on the screen, y'all. They're just stacked up right here by the bridge. I'm gonna stick him on the board. I can tell you right now, he ain't gonna help us though, but I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, he's a bigger 24 incher right there. There you go. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here on all them fish right there. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they cats or not, but I'm just gonna drop baits down right on their heads. That one ate pretty quick after about three minutes. So we'll see what happens. Well, here is another leaderboard update. It's now 12:46. We got a little over two hours left to fish. Brandon Hunter's at the top, 158 inches. Daniel's falling down to fourth. You got to scroll to find me. I'm down here all the way in 12th place right now. So I got to get something going, y'all. And, and it just ain't happening for me in a while now. The bio, I got one down here by the railroad bridge. I sat there a while, saw a bunch of fish. Don't know what they were, but only got one cat bite. So the wind really started to pick up. It's It's blowing pretty good going this direction. So I reeled up, made a run down here to the other bridge. And now I'm trolling into the wind. That way I can better control my kayak and my speed and all that. And I'm just kind of working this, this channel here on my best. Crap, I done messed up my thing here, y'all. Let's see if that one's it. There we go. I'll get it going here directly. But my best practice day, I got some couple good fish trolling this deeper channel here in between these two bridges, the railroad bridge and the car bridge. So... That's what I'm going to do uh, probably the next couple hours here is just keep going into the wind. I don't think the wind's going to slack off any, so I'm going to keep trolling this direction. Same setup I've been rocking here. Two dragon, one suspended. 
hopefully I'll find me one or two more fish over the 30 inch mark and climb a little higher. Top six are getting paid, so I got some work to do. Jet ski, pleasure boat, pleasure boat. Between the wind and all these people, man, <laughs> it's a daggone washing machine out here right now. Makes fishing a little tough, but uh, gotta keep grinding, man. Got a little bit more time to fish, gotta make it count. Check this out, y'all. As of 2.17, 43 minutes left to go. Look who's in the lead. Daniel from Catfish Sumo. He has made a surge to the top up there, 160 inches, currently two inches ahead of second place. Don't look at my score. I'm way out here. 14th place. I ain't been able to do nothing to improve my score. But how about Daniel, y'all, making the surge? He's been up there catching fish all daggone day, and I've got a snag here. That's about, that's what I'm catching right here. There it comes. That right there sums up my afternoon. That's about as good as it's got for me. But uh, right now, y'all, I'm just working shallow, working my way back to the ramp. It is calm over here, protected from the wind, out kind of between the bridges there where I was working. It's a washing machine between the pleasure boat traffic and the wind, which has kicked up really bad. I was just bouncing around and just couldn't get anything going. So I thought I'm gonna come over here, work shallow. This area is kind of protected and uh, as it panned out as of yet, but I'm still grinding, man. We've got 43 minutes left. So uh, either way, shout out to Daniel, Catfish Sumo coming up here to Ohio and showing these fellas how it's done, man. Good to see a Tennessean representing up here. It ain't me, but you know how Daniel is and you know how I run my mouth. I'm never going to hear the end of it, y'all. <laughs> I'll be here about this five years from now. <laughs> Don't look now. I may get one more fish here after all. I worked my way around through the calm water. Wasn't nothing happening. So I thought I'd come back over here. A little choppy over here by these power line bases, but I thought I'd just see what's going on. It's more choppy because there's people between them and the wind, man. They're beating the hell out of us out here. But we got another one. Unfortunately, this one ain't going to help me much. Ain't going to help me at all, I should say. No. Oh, channel cat. I was hoping to get me five big ones up here today, y'all. Didn't work out. But I'll tell you what, once I'm done fishing here today, I'm back to hoping I never catch another channel cat again. Because <laughs> I eat these dang things. Even today, I got my, pretty sure that one I got there this morning was probably my, my PB as I get another backlash. And it was exciting to catch it in the moment. But boy, I'm over these dang channel cats, man. I'm over it. I'm ready to get back to some blues and flatheads. Let's set that back in the rod holder. I was going to rebait here. That one hit pretty quick. Right now I'm sitting in seven feet of water. We got just a few minutes left. Last I looked, Daniel was still in the lead. So he is hopefully going to hold out and end up getting a win. It'd be good karma for Daniel to win. For those of you maybe don't know, Daniel actually was a, a sponsor of this tournament trail for the first two events. This uh, this is the Knot Marine National Kite Catfishing Trail. And uh, the first two trail stops was on Nickajack and Chickamauga. Catfish Sumo, which Daniel owns, uh, sponsored those events, put up $1,000 for each tournament. So it'd be good karma if he could come up here, win one of these events, and cash a big check day. Because you know, he's going to end up getting, if he wins, I think it's like $4,700 some odd dollars, almost five grand. So be pretty awesome to see that happen y'all check this out i got a fish on hit the fish hit on the other side of my kayak swam all the way around i didn't even know it man i didn't have a clue i look at my line i see my line over here i'm like how the hell did it get over there <laughs> thankfully he swam in front of my kayak and not through the motor uh, i don't think this one's going to help me either though I'm going to try to bring him around the motor this way. Yeah, I had this thing cast out over here on the left side of the kayak. and 
by gosh, he's, <laughs> he's going where he wants. There we go. Let's bring that in. That actually might help me right there, y'all. It's got to be more than 28 inches to improve my score. Oh, man, look at that. That's almost 30 inches. That is going to help me. All right, y'all. Got the pictures here. 255. I'm going to improve my score a little bit with five minutes to go. All right, y'all. Got this channel cat photograph 30 inches on the line got it submitted with one minute to spare so let's let him go that there's probably going to be the last fish i catch i'm going to reel in these lines and start heading back to the launch and call it a day man sandusky bay been better to me today than on my practice days that's for sure it's been tough man I had a tough practice, but come out here today, got what was probably my personal best channel cat with that 31 incher out there at the other spot above the bridge. And that fish there boosted my score two inches. So I got like 149 point something inches now. So I don't know where that'll put me. Nowhere near the top where I need to be. These birds are laughing at me. Those, they're laughing at me, making fun of me for coming up here and not catching enough fish to win. But hopefully, Daniel's gonna pull this thing out, y'all. I, I, I know I'm gonna hear about it, but I'm rooting for him. I want him to do good. So uh, anyway, y'all, I'll give you an update here on the final score when I get back over here. But uh, yeah, it's been an interesting experience up here at Sandusky Bay. Different world to me. I ain't much on the channel cats. People told me to come up here and say, Justin, you come up here to Sandusky Bay, it'll change your mind on them channel cats. It ain't. <laughs> I, until I come back again for another tournament, I don't want to see or catch another channel cat. <laughs> All right, y'all, back to the check-in. Everybody's here gathered around. This guy done it, y'all. He pulled it out in the end. I don't know how. Daniel Catfish Sumo taking home the win. What'd you win today, Daniel? A uh, sticker and... <laughs> A bottle of Coke. <laughs> and about $4,700. Nice! Biggest kayak catfishing payout ever. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you're going to win one, why not win the biggest one ever? Yeah. The second tournament you've entered, yeah, and you got a 50% win rate now. Yeah, first one I didn't even submit a fish. So you're just going to retire like yeah. John Elway, go out on the it. Super Bowl. Yeah, done. I'm just going to hang out my plaque and uh, be done. So I've given you so much crap over the years, all the smack talking I've done. How long am I going to hear how about how bad you beat me out here? Good today? long time. <laughs> <laughs> but but also, I mean, we fish together a lot. Yeah. And and learned a lot from you. So a lot of it credit is due to you. It just yeah. didn't turn into money. See, <laughs> see, it's I'm the reason he won today. I, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Good mentor. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for it. I'm, congratulations. Even though y'all know how bad I wanted to beat him. I wanted to beat him and I wanted to beat Ryan Boris and I lost to both of them. Ryan beat me with my own rod. He did too. You used to use my own rod too, wasn't you? Yeah, it's a really good rod. That's why I was using it. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, catfishsumo.com, golly whopper rods. But congratulations, Daniel. I'm happy for you. Well, thanks, appreciate it. I'm going to need a raise, of course. Now that you flush with cash, it's a good time for me to ask for I a raise. I to tell you, yeah, we're not going to be working together anymore. <laughs> he went, now I'm fired. <laughs> I'm actually taking over your channel. There you go. So you're going to give me this camera. <laughs> you can have it. $4,700 about right now. <laughs> All right, y'all. There's your winner. I'm going to go over here and chat with the other guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.